History wasn't written for us. Alamance County is one of the last, if not the strongest, conservative county left in North Carolina. Where are all the things about black people in Alamance County? Did we not exist? I know we were here. Our streets! Our streets! Our streets is George we always told, don't say this, don't do that. It's just another form of fear and I'll have none. This is like the same as the past, but in a new light. During the turbulent aftermath of the Civil War, a man named Wyatt Outlaw became a glimmer of hope for the future of Graham, North Carolina. He became the first black elected official in Alamance County, but the remnants of the Confederacy had other plans. On February 26, 1870, a local chapter of the Ku Klux Klan called the White Brotherhood came for Wyatt Outlaw in the night. He was lynched near the courthouse, a warning to those who dare question their power. Many members of the group were Confederate veterans, and among them, a local lawyer, the sheriff, and all of his deputies. No one was ever convicted of the murder, and some of the men went on to hold positions of power in government and in the criminal justice system. Years later, they erected a Confederate monument in front of the courthouse, complete with a rebel figure that still watches over the town square today. But many believe that the legacy of Wyatt Outlaw and the oppression that followed his death can no longer be ignored. We shouldn't have to go look at something that symbolizes racism. I knew I grew up in a racist place, so I always looked out for my people. I was back and forth from here to New York. I came home on my birthday for my mother to see me. We in Grand North Carolina, a small hick, hick town, you hear me? I stumbled upon this large crowd of black people. I never ever thought I'd see this. We've been praying for this. My grandmother, your grandmother, your grandma. We had the Confederates to the right of us. They're just distractions. I done had distractions my whole life and I didn't even realize it. I act like they went there. I'm going to stand up for my Southern heritage. I love Graham. I love Alamance County. I mean, you're going to stand for your monument. <laughs> The energy was just amazing, and I just, I loved it, and it actually just enticed me to stay. I'm here now. It was my Million Man March. If they got the monument down, they would be happy, yes, but they hate Sheriff Johnson. The sheriff is a very powerful man, but he refuses to denounce white supremacy. The black guy that just got arrested was man. How did you arrest him? Because he refused to leave and he didn't refuse. Well, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. And was and was using language that is not decent language. You were standing there and should have heard it. So you can arrest people for language? Yes, ma'am. Sheriff Johnson, Gary Wynn, Barry Brown, Steve Molly, Larry Ray, Tommy Bay, we run this town. Go away. I'm here to build, to grow, and to love decided to start my own organization. You're going to walk with PSC. My goal now is to uninstall fear in my communities so we all can be able to use our voice. I had to grow and learn and settle down myself. People don't see me get rowdy. Cut. Hey, did I say that? Your mama raised you better than this. I'm about to go beat one of these white folks. Don't say that, Amy. Come on, with it. Come on. My kids are what made me say, okay, I do have to do this. I have two kids that are out of my home now. 
I can no longer physically protect them. The only way I feel I can protect them is by going out there and trying to get changed. I don't think that people realize how much danger we're in. My good folks, my good folks today. Got your video going, yeah, ain't yeah. you? That's a nigga video right there. You got go, some nigga now. Go, 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 go. There's some really hateful people in this world. Don't get in my face. Don't get in my face. I just remember one of them getting arrested and being taken into a restaurant. We getting drugged up the court steps and thrown in the courthouse. You got some kind of protection that we don't. They know it too. Get arrested one time, they get you on the radar, get arrested another time. It's like, okay, maybe if he get arrested five more times, or he might get arrested one time. He might change his mind from coming out here. It's like the Confederates against, and the police against the movement. Three and a half years ago, my dad died. After he died, it pretty much killed me inside. So I started doing research. The family Bible, it's got all the bookmarks from family when they passed away. I started looking at more of the, like the bookmarks my dad had. So it's kind of where I, I found my background to the Confederacy. Just like my flag but there, Southern American. Our beautiful monument. I'm not a saint. I mean, I've been up there a lot. There's some stuff could be questionable. What's up, Mr. Yankee, bitch? Left house. White house. Shut the fuck up. Four more years, bitch. Four more years, Four more years you red-headed bitch. Maybe you live by train next. Whether you like it or not, we're here. We're not going anywhere. We to be treated equal. If you want to fear us, that's on you. We're not going to Washington and I'm destroying the White House. Change starts here. My grandma knows the importance of that. I'm sure this young lady right here knows the importance of us getting to the polls and voting. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, please get to the polls. Get to the polls. We've been out here canvassing, putting long hours in, all of these organizations. This is the first time that we have got in these streets knocking on people's doors. We've never, ever tried to vote these people out of office. You have Eagle. You are here today for change in Alamance County. This is what we mean when we say power to the people. It's power to every single one of you who are out here today. Did anybody come or receive any intel that we're going to topple the monument? No. When we finish with our rally, we want to make sure that the community that haven't voted is going to vote. Everybody had their mask on. I'm like, yes, I'm pumped. We're marching again. I was waiting for that day to vote. It was so symbolic to us. What's his name? What's his name? Black class. I want you all to understand from 1870 until right now, there has been no justice in Wyatt Outlaw's case. We're grateful for the police, but we would be even more grateful for change. We read it. We read it. We read it for change. We read it. We read it. Say his name. Right. 
We are getting ready to have our rally. We're gonna build our stage first. If you all will hang tight, y'all, if you have to, just, just party. The streets belong to us. to the vote. I wasn't able to vote. Guess they wanted to have more power than we did. They've definitely lost our trust. There's no more trust there. There's no respect. The respect is gone. This is the first year I ever voted in my life. County commissioners, it on way. I was in line for about an hour with Sheriff Johnson. He just said he wished it got back to normal. Clean my boots off. The path is clear for the new president-elect. Former Vice President Joe Biden has been elected president. The numbers are corrupt. It was a rigged election. There is no evidence of widespread voter fraud. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. Trump called us, asked everybody to show up. They let us march through. Got a little crazy from there. Girl. Is it patriotism to storm the Capitol, in your opinion? Yes, because they're not listening to us. TV star.
goaded a horde of goons to attack the symbol of our united belief in democracy. Former President Trump, he empowered them. Ted Johnson empowered them. Hey, hey, ho, ho! Racist cops have got to go! Hey, hey, ho, ho! Racist cops have got to go! This year marks the 160 year anniversary that North Carolina seceded to join the Confederacy. This year, May 20th, 160 years. My goal is to go out there with my Confederate flag. Everybody's seen this flag before. Flag every town in North Carolina this year. I still have so much past issues that I'm dealing with from all the trauma. In and out of county jail or charged with resisting arrest, obstruction of justice. No matter how you put it, kind of threw my life upside down. I like to speak to everybody. I don't know why. The charges is the least of my worries. It's really my mental health. We need to talk, man. I'm just praying that other people that's in, inside the movement, they getting strong and they healing. Cause I'm about to be in the healing process. Mission you on right now, bro. You can't deal with people that's not like-minded, bro. This my auntie shot right here. In this movement, we all fresh. We all new. But y'all be good. I love y'all. And I love the sight, man. But what have we done for these communities? Nothing. Before I was in activism, I was just in the neighborhood. This place bring back a lot of memories. People come to me like, I need a Black Lives Matter flag. This happened to my son. I know you got people. I go in these communities every day, and they look at me something like I'm a superhero. But I can't help. And I don't know what to do. So it's like, um, yeah, I don't know what to do. You see my hair? Why well, I do all these hands out here? So why in the heck I'm looking like this? <laughs> We have a lot of support now from all over the country, unfortunately, thanks to pepper spray. I think reality is that the hate is gonna grow a little bit longer. Woo! This is institutionalized racism. We want an equal alley mask. You know, right now I can't even see the statue. It's like blending in, I can't even see it now. I can imagine it's gone. I can imagine it. No, 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 no,